I'm home. Welcome back. Are you hungry? Do you want breakfast? Let's go. It's cold. Go down slowly. Good morning. Happy Monday, you guys. <gasps> I'm home. Welcome back. I actually arrived back on Saturday night and then I did not vlog on YouTube yesterday just because I was as you would expect, a little bit out of it, but if you are clicking on my channel for the first time, hello, my name's Adele, I post vlogs, I post a lot of content, I've got a podcast, a TikTok, and Instagram, I would love for you to join the family, and if you are a returning subscriber, I love you guys, thank you so much for coming back, this channel would not exist without you, and I'm truly so grateful, but it's Monday, we are going to try and get back into it, I figure this vlog is going to be one where I'm like low-key fighting for my life, because I'm jet-lagged, <laughs> I'm about to get my period any moment. I didn't get it on the plane. Yes. Thank you, universe. But yeah, I'm battling a little bit. I've got some cramps. I've got some back pain. I'm waking up very early. I woke up at like 3 a.m., 4 a.m., 6 a.m. It's 7.30 right now. And I also get really tired around like 4 p.m., 5 p.m. I fought it yesterday. I didn't have a nap. I'm going to try and keep fighting it every day until it passes and just try to get my, what do you call it? Like the circadian rhythm back. But yeah. Oh, I'm so happy to be home. I don't know what to wear. <laughs> oh, this is a mess. I need to clean it, so no judgment. We will get to it in this vlog. I have a lot of my activewear bras in the wash, the ones that I took with me. I kind of wanted to wear this, but the bra is still wet because I washed it yesterday. Oh yeah, so yesterday all I did was like washing. I walked Franklin, we finished unpacking, and yeah, I was trying to stay awake. <laughs> Maybe we go for this one, because I've got all the pieces. Yeah. I'm going to take you guys with me, because I'm 100% going to struggle in there. <laughs> we can laugh about it together. Off to the worst start. I forgot my towel. We're going to have to buy one. I got a new towel, and I'm dying on spots, but it's going to be okay. This is truly quite humbling. <laughs> I've lost so much strength and I can't tell if it's like I've actually lost the strength or if it's just like that couple of days before I get my period but anyway I'm happy that I'm here it feels good to move my body I'm probably gonna be sore as fuck tomorrow though I'm proud of you Adele I'm sweaty but I got it done That is the consistency that we want. The strawberries and maple is great, but I'm a lemon and sugar girly. I didn't take out that seed. This lemon is not giving positano. Let's go. Mmm. Mm. Okay, that's good. Yum. Mm. I'm happy. I like it better with this. I like them both ways. I'm showering. I'm going to do a tiny bit of work today because I want to take it easy. Mum and dad have like half the week off. So I'm like, I should too. <laughs> also, I love having my own shower back. And I'll be wearing my retainer full time. Just an FYI if I have a lisp in the rest of this vlog because my teeth definitely moved and I'm really upset about it. Every time I look in the mirror, it annoys me. So I'm like, do I go down the Invisalign path? I don't know. I probably just got to weigh up what I value and what's more important. It's just annoying as someone who has been so religious with my retainer. Like I've literally worn it since I had my braces off for my teeth to have still moved anyway. I've got some thinking to do about it. I've had you guys charging away. I've locked in a meeting with my manager, M later today, and I'm quickly eating before I go to my pedicure. <laughs> Forgot what I was gonna say then, but I've made a roll and it's got 
the best filling ever. I'll put the recipe or how to do it in the notes if you want to try. Mm. It's very Rome inspired. It has pistachios, mozzarella, bocconcini. My time management is not great, just quietly. <laughs> I'm in here and mum's also in here getting her nails done. And then I'm going to drive us home. Hello. Dance mum over there. I was going to wait for mum because like we're both there and dad dropped her off, but she's getting her toes painted with normal nail polish, which takes forever. And I have a meeting at three with Miss Emily. So I gotta go. You can see my shellac and I'm putting on my Uggies because it's not that warm in this house. And I'm gonna log in. My meeting with Em went so well. I'm very happy that I'm kind of getting back on track. I've done a tiny bit of work. I'm eating these. I bought lemon lollies from Positano. Paid five euro for this. And these are really good. I'm really proud of myself. I think I've done good. Not too much, but I'm staying awake and kind of getting back in it with them. It is so nice having Right, zero, because we didn't have it. I just finished the Ask Me Anything. I missed it so much. I love doing it because it makes me feel very connected to you guys. And I didn't do it the entire time I was overseas because I really just wanted to not use my brain and I wanted to like unwind and properly switch off. But it was so nice to do it again. And there were so many questions about Europe. So now I'm like, I must do another podcast or a YouTube video and then one with mum and dad so that we can get the whole fam's perspective. And in other news, I got my period. Now I can just like oh, come back to life in the gym, come back to life with PMS. I am hungry though, so I'm gonna make a snack. Yum. I just took a melatonin, which is a sleeping tablet. It's helping with the jet lag on the way back. But I'll say goodnight. Little Franklin's still not in his crate. I don't know when he'll go back in. Not now, not yet. It's too soon. See you in the morning. Oh, it's 6 30. We're going to the gym. I would like to thank Jet Lag for waking me up so early. You know what? I'm going to use it to my advantage and bring back a morning routine. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. We made it to the gym and I finished my workout by 8 o'clock. I didn't have a nail appointment at 10, so I had no time to waste. Unfortunately, we have no lemons, so I'm going to do strawberries and golden syrup today which also is pretty good. Everyone is still asleep. The only person who's awake is dad. My hair needed a wash. However, I am getting my hair done tomorrow, so. And I'm not gonna wear makeup today. I seriously need to go and buy a full size one of these. I also am gonna wear my Zara jacket that I got in Paris. I want you guys to know that I'm gonna try and really come into my own style over the next like few months. Cause I feel like I found a really nice groove in Europe while I was traveling. Like I just felt like all my outfits looked really nice. And I was like, how can I translate this back home? Cause I feel like I'm fine to outfit repeat. It's not about that. I will still outfit repeat even in a different style, but I just felt like my Europe style was a bit more elevated. So I'm gonna try and do that day to day. And I really like the outfit. I have one today. I'll show you before we leave. Here is the outfit. I've got my Zara jacket, a bodysuit, which is like open back, my jeans and my Converse. And I'm wearing my Uniqlo bag. I'm converted. I absolutely love it. We have made them matte. I don't know if you can see that. Look at how good they look! 
I'm obsessed. I'm just at DFO where there's like a party balloon shop because I want to get Carla some balloons. I want to spoil her and hopefully a card. Let's go. Oh my god. <laughs> we have secured the balloons. Can I put them there? Is that alright? Yeah, okay. Shout out to that local balloon shop because she did it for me right away. I got a two and a nine. Just ran a heap of errands. I went and picked up Carla's birthday cake and a custard tart for dad because it's a delayed little Father's Day gift. I also picked up some things from the deli and some bread rolls for my sandwich, which I'm gonna make when I get home because I am hungry and it's one o'clock now. There is no way. I just get home and it's hailing. I can't get out of the car. I can't. <laughs> oh, please stop. Birthday! Thank Happy you. Happy birthday, Dad. You're Thank nearly you. 30. Nah, you just turned 29. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, relax. So this jacket is annoying because it keeps... Like, why is this thing so long? I thought you liked it. I do, but it, it, it keeps coming out. Making the rolls, and look at this from the deli. Proper olive paste. Oh my god, how good. So many pistachios. Mm. Wow, so good. We're now making some jam. <laughs> Just so random. You wanna know why? I'll tell you why, because over here, we're also preparing for dinner because Carla has requested a specific meal. Twisties. We had this large container of bloody strawberries and they were gonna go bad. So we're like, let's make jam. <laughs> and we think we'll be able to make three. We'll put the recipe in the notes as well. I'm currently just editing the Mallorca video. That'll go live tomorrow. I feel like I've figured out a schedule. I'm excited to obviously bring the normal vlogs back. I've been eating the twisties. I was craving Fonzies and it's just not the same. I gotta buy Fonzies online actually. Oh my god, my brain needs to say focus on one thing. I feel like I'm a bit scattered. <laughs> I don't know if it's a jet lag, I don't know if it's the sleeping tablets, but my brain just feels like it's not working properly, which is just delightful. I just had a therapy appointment and I bloody forgot about it. <laughs> she texts me at like five past five. She's like, hey, I'm waiting for you. I was like, oh my god, I booked it before I went away. Anyway, I just had it at six o'clock now and it was really good. I missed her and she also went away so we got to like chat about our trips and stuff like that and it was just a nice debrief. Nothing is going like too wrong for me mentally. I feel good. <laughs> so it was just a nice light session which is like kind of what I needed. Look at this. We're going to give some to our neighbours. I've added the three olive to this. Do you know what? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Carla's birthday dinner. We asked her, do you want to go out? Do you want to go to a restaurant? Do you want to <laughs> order something? And she said, no, I want I cauliflower want and broccoli risotto. <laughs> Why is it funny? It's just funny. You're I so cute. You're so it. cute. It's cake time. I'm trying to get the um, thing up. I got it off. I love Ferguson Flair, mm. honestly. Look at this cake, mousse cake. Mum, it's at both our birthdays. Technically, it's Mum's birthday because she's the birth burning lady. <laughs> birthday to you. Yep. Hooray! Yep. Hooray! Hooray! Woo! Yep. Hooray! Good night from me. I have been cackling at my TikTok comments tonight. People do not like my nails. <laughs> It's giving Halloween. It's giving Shrek. It's giving witch. <laughs> but you know what, guys? I'm an Aries. Did you expect anything less? People are like, that's not your usual style. I'm like, I know, but also I'm an Aries. So it kind of is in a way. <laughs> anyway, I like them. I like my Shrek nails. I am battling tonight. I've taken my sleeping tablet and it's kicking in. So I've got to say goodnight. There's Frank. Still not in his bed. He's not going in his bed in this vlog, just so you know. Dad went back to work this morning. No idea how. I've woken up with a pounding headache. Why is this window? I need a coffee and some Panadol. These make me feel so sick. I'm gonna walk Franklin, no gym today. I am in so much pain. My body is so sore, it hurts to like sit on the toilet, it hurts to get out of my bed. It hurts to hold this camera right now, it'll go away, but 
I'm only doing four sessions this week. So I did Monday, Tuesday, I'll rest today. I might do Thursday, Friday and rest all weekend. This is one of the packages I got while I was away. I'll show you some other stuff. I knew this was coming because I obviously worked with Naked Harvest right before I left. So they sent me some creatine because I want to try theirs. And they also sent me the chocolate protein powder. So far, I just love the pancake one the most. So I'll give this a go and I'll let you know my thoughts. I also really want to try their greens as well. So I think I might do an order just to try. I think it's like a peach one or maybe it's a mango one. I've heard that it tastes yummy and I could probably do with some more vegetables <laughs> or greens in my diet. Oh my God, my headache is so bad. Every time I like turn my head, it like moves in my brain. <laughs> oh look, your harness and your jumper match. <laughs> We're gonna go now, yes. We're gonna go now. The blood flow is happening. It's cold outside, but in the sun it's nice. I am dressing so nicely for my hair appointment because after it, I've got an event. I'm gonna take my makeup in case I don't have time to come home. So I can do my makeup in the car. And I just want to be like a dress for that. I'm getting my hair done, obviously, so it won't look like shit like it does right now. I also love this perfume, the one I bought at Duty Free. It's beautiful. The Chanel Gabrielle. Oh, I just want to like bathe in it. Do I have time to make pancakes? I think I do. I've added blueberries. We'll see how it goes. I don't know if it's going to be a bad or a good idea, but we'll find out. The blueberry definitely takes out the fluffiness, I think, because they're not as fluffy as what they usually would be. All right, what do they taste like? Let me get a blueberry piece. Nice. So good. I'm at the hair appointment. Here is the before. I've got no idea what we're doing today. Definitely a little trim. My hair grew quite a bit overseas, but it's a bit damaged and I want to keep growing it. So not too much, but enough to keep it healthy. run out of the hairdressers because we're running late. We have to be at the chemist warehouse event in half an hour. I have to quickly eat, which mum has prepared, get changed, and then do my makeup in the car. I don't know if it's coming up in this lighting or if you can tell, but it's definitely different. It's definitely lighter than yeah. what it was. It's lovely. Break the harshness, because my hair was just looking like a black blob. Yeah, mm. very nice. Thanks. Mm. I've gotten changed. All I did was put on the jacket and the boots. Still left the skirt on. And I'm finally, for the first time, using my jazz bag. <laughs> Mum is driving. Thank you, Mum. You're welcome. We're going to make it, guys. We're 20 minutes away. And that's more than enough time to whip this together. And it's at Essendon Fields and it's flight inspired because there's an airport here. This looks cool. We're just parking up. Did my makeup in the. I need to reverse. <laughs> All right, I think I'll wear the jacket later because I'm hot. Window up? Yeah. We'll talk about it in the car in a moment, but they just gave us this goodie bag. It's heavy. We'll give you a little haul later. We are just about to head off. We're actually going to a movie premiere now. And yes, today has been a little bit chaotic, but I'm happy that mum's come along for the adventure. Did you have a good time there? I did. It was so cool. It was such, it was grouse. Thomas Warehouse always do amazing events. And so I knew it was going to be amazing. I went last year, you guys might remember, I think I vlogged it, the showcase. And it was mum's first time. Yeah, it was so cool. And I can't wait to open what we got in the booth. Yeah, me too. <laughs> our suitcase. Our little, our little suitcase. Everything was so thought out. <laughs> like, I love attention to detail. The little passport, the stamps, like, the photos. Yeah. Mine's in the boot. So cute. I actually look really cute in that show photo. Me that photo. I look so cute in that photo. Let me show me. 
We are at the jam factory. I'm going to leave this camera in the car because we all know what happened last time that I went in to a premiere. This movie actually comes out tomorrow. It's my big fat Greek wedding, the third one. I'm just changing the jacket into my Zara one. But yeah, I'm going to leave this camera here. Also, it doesn't fit in this bag, so that's why. We will see you guys when we're done. Back in the car, I'm allowed to give you the review right now because this vlog will come out after the movie comes out but it was really good it was awesome <laughs> it was so wholesome and yeah I was like crying and <laughs> it was sad as well it was, it was like it was just funny everything. sad we are home my first night wearing the bag and it is fine I was nervous to wear it but no need to be nervous and while we were out Look what arrived. So I'll be real with you guys. The jet lag is fucking with us. And so we won't be cooking this week <laughs> because we got you foods just for convenience. So these will be a mixture of dinners and lunches because honestly just can't be fucked quietly between us all. We also are gonna quickly open this. Obviously keeping in mind guys, with all of the PR that I get, I firstly will try to use most of it myself. I then like to gift it to my family, as a mum, Carla, Mel, neighbors, and then I put it into giveaways. So it always goes somewhere. I'm not wasteful with it. I just want you to know that. I'll keep this for my giveaways. I'm not gonna go through absolutely everything, but there's definitely things in here I already use. And I can already see that. The dry shampoo, the face mask, the pimple patches, cute little coil clip. It's jam packed. So I'll definitely be spreading the love with everything in here. Thank you so much, Chemist Warehouse. I'm very, very grateful. And thank you so much to you guys because I wouldn't get invited or get these opportunities without you. Every time I go to something like this, even when I don't go to things like this, I'm always so grateful, but I do pinch myself because it's like, I have this and I do this for work because of you. So thank you for supporting me. And I guess this means we'll have another giveaway on the YouTube channel soon. My next one, I will run on YouTube for you guys because you've been so supportive of me while I've been in Europe and so supportive of me when I've come back and just in general. I am a little bit sleepy, but I'll take another sleeping tablet and then I'll jump into bed. I've got a shower first. I didn't wear my retainer today, which I'm very annoyed about because I should have, but it was just a go, go, go day. It was a good day. And I feel nice to be back home and doing everything and seeing people and heart is very full. And it was also fun to spend the whole day with mum. Like I love when I can take a plus one because I always try to take her. She has so much fun too. So it's really nice. I love my hair by the way. I'm so happy with it. Also very sad because I finished these. <laughs> I got to buy another pack. I'm going to say goodnight. I'm going to quickly brush my teeth and get into bed. Okay. I love you guys. Good morning, Franklin. It's time to get up. Good morning. Oh, now you're gonna get up. Hello. I missed you. Got my coffee. Got my baby. Can I have a kiss? Thank you. We've got lower body day coming up. I'm actually gonna take some pre workout. I prefer to take my pre workout before I get to the gym. So I know that once I'm there, it's like ready to go. I also will never put it into my water bottle because it can kind of stain the inside of it and then make it smell like pre-workout, which I don't want. I just always have water in here. Anyway, I've drunk it. I just sculled it <laughs> and we're gonna head off. My workouts are definitely getting easier. Obviously, nowhere near the level of strength I had when I left, but It'll come back. I'm already feeling better and it's day three, so. Well, day three in the gym. So I'm happy. I'm really, really happy. Now it's time to eat. And I'm gonna actually take Franklin to his physio today. I'm gonna take you guys along and show you what we do. Cause I love going there and I think it's fascinating. I always wanna lick this and then I remember there's literally a raw egg in it. So I <laughs> probably shouldn't lick it. Just adding in. You can see how the blueberries just elevate it. So good. I have not walked Franklin today because the physio does exhaust him mentally. Franklin, come here. Come on. Oh, good boy. Mommy has to clip you in. Mm -hmm. Good boy. 
all buckled up and ready to go. And we've got Auntie Carla with us. Hi. Because she looked after him for the last four weeks since we last went. past the shop to grab some stuff because we need it for lunch. It's one o'clock and I'm so happy with how the physio went. Thank you, Carla. You're so welcome. Because Franklin weighed 6.3 kilos. He can move so much better. He used to do this like skipping and hopping on his back legs to like compensate for like the pain and he stopped doing that, which is good. We got a new massage to massage his like little butt <laughs> and his little hamstrings and his little quads and stuff, which <laughs> His little muscles are so, so cute. Tiny. <laughs> and then he also got the activity which you saw us doing in the last clip. And I'm just so proud. And I owe Carla because Carla had been primary caring for him yeah. over the last four weeks. And she was so strict with the diet. <laughs> <laughs> thankfully. So strict. Thankfully. I love you. Love you too. We are so proud of you. And we are very, very happy with your progress. Love you. I'm eating my lunch outside because mum has gone back to work today. So she's in a meeting right now. I changed the bread and I put some pistachios in there for me to eat as well. I'm the sandwich master. Love you. Kisses. I'm showering. I'm getting ready because I'm going out tonight. Dressed. This is the vibe tonight. I've got that singlet on. I'm gonna wear this and maybe my boots and take my jazz bag. I'm gonna quickly do my makeup and put you guys on charge because you're about to die. Having you food lasagna before I go, I'll give you a taste test. Very carroty. Mm. Lots of veggies. <laughs> mm. Seven out of ten. I'm leaving you here. I'll see you guys when I get home. I'm going to pick up my friend Diana. We're actually going to a podcast live show. I will debrief with you when I'm back home. I'm home. I'm going to have a quick shower and get into bed. I'm so tired. And I feel like I'm losing my voice. But it was a great night. And such a great time with Diana. I'm actually seeing her again on Saturday. We're going to get paninis because we both just got back from Europe and we're missing Europe. <laughs> I've got Mr. Frank over there in the Woody. You can't see him. He's exhausted. So am I, low key. But I feel like I'm coming good with the jet lag, thankfully. I'm going to say goodnight and I'll see you guys in the morning. No more sleeping tablets. That's it. I'm done. I'm so done. Guys, I had the worst nightmares. Like, <laughs> I don't even want to verbalize it because I am I woke up sweating and scared and I hugged Franklin because I was so upset because the bad dreams were about him. I think it's the sleeping tablets. They're really good at like knocking me out and making sure I don't wake up, but I can't have that trade-off where I'm then waking up sweating and like full of anxiety because of the nightmare like I was trying to wake up and I couldn't you know those dreams where it won't let you wake up that's what was happening yuck 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 this fixes everything workout was so good I'm happy I got it done I did four sessions this week to be honest I'll probably go to the gym maybe tomorrow or Sunday just to like walk on the treadmill there I'm jumping in the shower quickly we're going to have lunch with Suze today and I've got to film some content before I see her so let's get right into it the weather sounds so wild I haven't been putting heat on my hair I've just been giving it a brush I'm running really good for time so I'm gonna film the content first and then head and go see Suze I'm about to head off, but I wanted to show you I did a shop at Dish and I hadn't bought from them before So I was a bit nervous because I don't know what their sizing is like But I got a one size fits all belt 
and then I got a pair of these beautiful cream pants. They are so nice on. I did try them on when I opened the package yesterday. And I also got this beautiful strapless crop. And I was influenced because I saw it on Courtney Mangan. She, I love her. And she posted in the singlet and the pants with the belt. And it just looks so good. I was like, I need the outfit. And I told you guys I was going to elevate my style. So this is me trying. I'm really happy with my purchase. The only thing I'll say is I probably could have gone down a size. Because I measured myself and it said that I would be a small. And so I ordered small, but they're a bit big. So I probably could have gone like extra small, which is fine. I'd rather it be big than too tight. But I'm going to just keep them because they still fit me nicely tiny bit loose but not enough that it bothers me anyway time to go film the content and then we get to see Suze and I can't wait my content is done I did film it in the car. I did film it on my phone, which is quite normal. I film a lot of content in the car and I also film most of my content on my phone. Unless it's specifically for YouTube, I'd use that camera. I rarely film collaborations and brand deals on this camera. I tend to just do it on my phone because it's already in the format that I need. But I'm so excited because that was my second collaboration with Positive Choices, who if you guys listen to Your Safe Space, you would have heard them sponsor an episode of Your Safe Space maybe, I don't know, three weeks ago. I'm really grateful that they wanted to work with me because it's exciting. They're the first government body collaboration, paid collaboration that I've had. So it's the Australian government and University of Sydney. It's been a really cool process to work with them. Very different to working with them versus working with another type of brand. And it's also just made me feel really good about myself because for me, I just think, wow, they trust me enough to let me use my voice and use my face to deliver this kind of message and it is like educational content which yeah I'm just like wow they think of me in that way and it gives me goosebumps because I'm so grateful I loved making that podcast episode and I love making that TikTok for them and I'm just happy all right I'm also really hungry because I haven't eaten yet and I know I should have had breakfast but I didn't have time because I had to get this done but let's go get lunch I'm really excited and happy and feeling fulfilled because it was so nice to see Suze. We had the best DMs and I just love her. I do have quite a bit of work to do, so I'm gonna get stuck into that. But I also want to show you, I bought some shoes and they arrived too. I bought Sambas. <laughs> I like them. I think they look cute. I just tried them on with this fit with the unitard, but I got influenced. I did. I think they're cute. Are they cute or was I just influenced? I think they're cute. I think they could even look good with the dish pants. Oh, yes. Just so happy with my purchases the last few days. I'm really impressed. Friday night footy. I already feel the anxiety. <laughs> I can't watch it. I'm just not pretend. It's me. I can't. I don't want to get to sleep. Oh, mum. Girl dinner. It's a roll with no mozzarella because I don't have it but we have salami, olive, cheese, pistachios. It's half time, Carlson is in the lead which makes me very happy and I'm less anxious than I thought I would be but we still have another half to get through so fingers crossed. Carlson won. I need to somehow get tickets to go to see Carlton vs Melbourne next week. Oh no, I'm going to be in Sydney. Oh no, I'm going to be here. Good night. <laughs> morning i've had a coffee getting ready we're going to take franklin for a w-a-l-k yes this is for you oh oh look at that there you go oh you got your butt in everyone's face thank you good boy it's actually really cold out there but then it got really hot my plan today is to get into editing because sam's actually away for the next few weeks so i'll be editing the vlogs and the videos and if you see anything wrong with the editing please don't come for me because <laughs> usually I do the final edit not the full edit but I still got it I still got it look at how good my breakfast came out today I'm so happy with it I did do also do cinnamon and icing sugar as well inspired by the Portugal tarts So 
wearing my new Sambas for the first time. I'm gonna go in no makeup because I'm possibly going out tonight. If I do my makeup later, I want it to look nice later. I don't want to do it right now. Of course, I've got to put on some jewelry because I can't live without it. I'm so hungry. We're going to Panini Co and I can't bloody wait. Goodness me, that Panini filled me up. It's really hard now because I just compare everything to that beautiful one that I had in Rome. If I compare it just like off the bat without comparing it to Rome, it probably would have got like a 7.5 out of 10. If I compare it to Rome, it would have got a 6 out of 10. Do with that what you will. I really want to try Rocco's and I really want to try Jimmy's. I think they're the other two places that I need to go, but not in this vlog down the track. I'm now just quickly going to go and donate ah! Ah, my clothes. And that is your sign to spring clean your wardrobe. Also, shout out to me for not driving around with that bag in the car for months <laughs> like I usually would. I'm back. I love you so much. Also quickly showing you guys what I got Carla because I said I'd show you it once I opened it but this is from Venice and it is Murano glass and someone fired this and made it into a bee. I love it. It's very very cool. Have you named it? Honey bee. Honey bee. Cute. Another thing I got is this apron from Positano. I love it so much. I was like I need to have it because I do love like cooking and things like that and now I can always think of Positano. We're having dinner. Dad got pizza. We got Maccas. Let's see if the Sprite... Oh, why do the chips look like that? They're like pale. They must need to change their oil. Carl used to work at Maccas. <laughs> it just dawned on me that we've been home for a week. I was landing this time last week. So wild. Where did this week go? Good night from us. No alarm, nothing to do tomorrow, aside from washing my bed sheets and editing, and I'm so excited to go to bed. I didn't go out tonight, I was meant to. I didn't film a video tonight, I was meant to. I just wasn't feeling it, I'm not feeling myself tonight, I don't know why. I'm sure it'll pass, but yeah, I just was beating my own head. I probably need to do some journaling, if I'm being honest. But anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm excited for a sleep in. Good morning. It's 9.30. We've got to get up. We've got not that much to do. All I really want to do today is wash the bed sheets, walk Franklin, and get this vlog edited because I want to drop this vlog tomorrow, which is Monday, which is the first time I'm ever dropping a weekly vlog on a Monday, and I hope you guys are going to be alright with it. <laughs> I made it perfectly. I always do. Now, mummy is going to try and wash her bed sheets every Sunday. That's the little plan I'm setting for myself. Do you reckon I can do that, Frank? I love you. Alright, how am I going to do this now with you? Oh, God. <coughs> Come here. Come here. off the bed so I can change it. This is the set we have on. Not my preferred set but everything else is in the wash. We need a jumper and we need a puffer. Oh god I should have done that after. I need to try and walk before it rains. Look at this colour match. I think you're cute. Come on tell Nonna let's go. Let's go. Come on. Good job. We got rained on twice. <laughs> So wetting up a storm. Having something different today. Haven't had this in a hot minute, but I need to use the strawberries because they're not in season and 
Should not have bought more. <laughs> you know what? That muesli still hits. I still love it. Wow, I'm looking quite disheveled. has finished I'm gonna pop this in the dryer at the laundromat and then come back and get straight into editing I'm back from the laundromat and I'm just opening up the PR that I got while I was away now the first package is from Emco Beauty I'm really proud of myself I only got three PR packages while I was away which I think is pretty good because you guys know I don't like being wasteful and I like to make sure that I will use it or... Aww! Hey Del, hope you had a good holiday. We're big fans of your content. We hope you love these products. That's really sweet. They sent me cream bronzer, cream highlight, lip oil, and extend lash mascara. I'm very, very curious to try out these two. You may see them in some content soon. We then have a package. I think this one is from GoTo. It looks like a Go GoTo box. Go to have sent me new cleanser, properly clean. Very sweet. Thank you, go to. The last one, I actually have no idea what it is. It's very big. How did I open this? What is this? Please be free. <laughs> uh, can you tell what kind of PR is my favorite? Cadbury sent me PR while I was gone. Thank you, Cadbury. We'll do a review on this. Probably after this vlog comes out. Oh, I'm really happy with that. Thank you. It's lunchtime. This is Carla's variation. This is mine or mum's. It depends which one she would like. And mine or mum's, it depends which one she would like, but made with love, everybody. Look at that. I'm gonna try and do most of my editing today. I'm actually getting it done quite quickly. And it's probably been good for me to actually do this because then I can see how much unnecessary stuff I film for Sam. <laughs> so maybe I can cut down her editing time. Work smarter, not harder. I'm obsessed with pistachios. It's dinner time. I've just kicked mum out of the kitchen because I want to do the rolling of these. And look at her. Look at what recipe she's following. My. <laughs> how can you forget how to do I it? I just, I don't know. Mom. I just. Fresh shaved mozzarella. Bloody delicious. Look at my masterpieces. Two trays, I made 12 today. I rolled them. Oh, <gasps> oopsie doopsie. <gasps> Beautiful. This is our brown butter and sage saucy sauce, which I think just quietly, I nailed. Look at that. Tray one. Tray two is coming. Look at this. How is it everybody? I haven't tried it yet. Yummy in my tummy. How fair. Everyone's enjoying. Let's dig in. <laughs> in typical adult fashion, I didn't make my bed right away. So I'm making it now. <laughs> it's not too late, but I should have been in the shower washing my hair, which I am going to do after this. And I'm excited because it's the first time that I'm washing it since I got it colored the way that I did. which I already bought this before I went. I didn't use it once. Three pumps. One, two, three. Rub it in your hand until it goes like a pasty color. Like that. And then put it through. 
probably doing it wrong. I don't know if that's enough. Maybe one more pump. She told me to do this because now my hair has been bleached. We don't want to compromise the house because my hair is still quite healthy, even though she bleached it. And so I'm going to listen to her. <laughs> I always listen to the professionals. I waited the four minutes and then it says to do what you usually would do. So heat protector and I'm going to dry it off. Oh, I'm excited to get into bed. I'm going to do a tiny bit of journaling so that I can just go to bed without overthinking. Tonight he'll sleep in here, tomorrow in my bed, and we'll alternate until we eventually get him back in here every night. I love his cuddles, but I do love the independence that the crate provides. And look at him, he's falling asleep in there anyway. Good night, sweetheart. And just like that, we're at the end of the vlog and it feels really good to end it on a Sunday. <laughs> I know you guys love the vlogs on a Sunday, but it just makes more sense for me to drop them on a Monday and start the vlog on a Monday. I don't know why, it just feels, it just feels right, like it's meant to be. So I hope that it's okay with you guys and I promise that you'll still get a video every Sunday and that will be the upload schedule, Sunday, Mondays. That way you still have something for the Sunday scaries. Wow, there's a lot of S's and I got a bloody lisp. But you'll still have something for that and then you have the usual vlog on the Monday. So I know a lot of you do prefer to watch my videos earlier in the week. But yeah, a quick little check-in. I'm feeling a lot better. The jet lag I think is almost gone. I'm like 85, 90% over it. I have a big week coming up. I think why I felt so off last night is just because I'm a bit anxious with going away to Sydney this week. I'll be gone for most of the week and I've got quite a bit to do between the journal, between season two of the podcast, between editing, <laughs> between something else I can't tell you yet. There's a lot happening. So yeah, I just wrote everything down and I'm feeling a little bit better now that I can see what's in my control, what isn't and what I can do to help myself and what I need to just let go of and just chill. But I'm going to say goodnight. I love you. I hope you have a great week ahead. I hope that you are looking after yourself in any way, shape or form. And I hope that you're doing something nice for yourself too. Self-care and self-kindness are really important and I hope that you guys are doing that. But yes, I will see you guys next week. I miss you. I'm so happy to be home and thank you for the support again. Love you guys. Bye.